Okay, so now we are gonna be talking about getting these templates actually working. Um, and what we see here is we've got this settings for templates. So in the settings.py file, the, in the main Django configuration folder, this is where we wanna set a, a folder or a setting for the folder to actually get the templates that we wanna work with. Now, how templates work and all that, we will discuss very soon, but for now, all I'm gonna show you is how to set up the configuration for these templates. So we see in settings, this actual list right here, and then the dictionary inside of it. Um, so it's got default settings for these templates and how they work, how they handle requests, how they work on debugging, how they handle authentication, how they handle messages. There's all sorts of things that actually come through in here and also how they handle context and just, just a variety of things that are going on that is very good and it makes things very powerful. Templates is a big topic in Django that allows you to have a very robust front end system. Um, and which is great for a lot of us that are beginning in programming because the front end system and how users interact with it can be so much easier than just hard coding all sorts of things. Templates allow us to do that. It's not gonna make a whole lot of sense right now, but it will once we start getting in there. So the main thing I wanna point out here is this, these two little settings here called DERS and app DERS. So let's actually take a look at this error again. We'll refresh in here. It says template does not exist. So if we look through the error, we see a bunch of stuff, a bunch of code that's going on that we might not understand. Python path, that's not, that's not really what we wanna see. But what we wanna see is going down here is we see a, a closer example of this error. It says Django loaded, tried loading these templates in this order. So these templates being the templates that are involved with this error. Um, because in some cases, templates have multiple templates that work with each other. So it goes through here and it says, looks for Django.template loaders, file system loader. Not sure what that means. Don't let's not worry about that right now. And then we've got template loaders app directories.loader. And it looks through different apps actually. So if we see here, we've got Django contrib admin. That's the admin app. Django contrib auth, that's the auth app. And it's looking in a folder in there called templates. And then it's looking for home.html. The file does not exist because it doesn't. It, it's not actually in there. Um, so if we wanted to, we could actually look inside of where this path is. So I'm gonna just zoom out a little bit, but this path right here is within our virtual environment. So if I actually opened up my virtual environment, I can double check and see that this actually does not exist. So I can go to try Django and it's try Django 18 lib. So lib for library and then Python 2.7, Python 2.7 and then site packages, scroll all the way down to site packages and right here, and then Django. All right, so Django. So these are all of the related site packages inside a virtual environment, um, like pip freeze kind of says all this stuff. Um, okay, so now we've got Django, then contrib, so contrib, and then we go to admin, admin, and then we go to templates, scroll down, templates, and we go into, well, we don't see, it just says templates and then home.html and there's nothing in here. If I actually click around, I see that there are other things in here though. There are other kinds of templates, which is pretty cool. Um, and then I can also see, let's go back into the admin a little bit. And we can also see that there's a few other things in here that's like, well, um, stuff that we might look at at some point, but models.py, that's one thing that we see that's in another app that's like ours. So um, Django has all of these same format, right? If we go into auth, we see admin.py again. Uh, we see models.py, we see templates, we see views, we see one called URLs, we see all this stuff. So all this code is there and able for us to reference right in our virtual environment. Uh, so you don't necessarily have to go and find it anywhere other than the virtual environment itself. So the reason I'm showing you this is because this little function right here is actually looking through app directories. So the apps themselves. So let's go ahead and look at our app and newsletter. So this is our newsletter app, right? And our setting, if I scroll up a little bit, I see installed apps. It did not look through newsletter, right? So nowhere in here does it say newsletter. So let's actually add newsletter to the installed apps. I'm gonna add it to the very bottom. So newsletter, save it. We'll refresh in here, nothing's happening. 
So let's go ahead and do, I'm gonna close out the server in python manage.py. I'll say make migrations. We'll discuss what this does in a moment or in a future video, and then we'll do migrate. All right, so it migrates, it tries to migrate. Then we run the server again, refresh in here, and we're still not seeing the newsletter app at all. So I'm actually gonna stop that because, well, this is getting a little ahead of ourselves. So let's go ahead and comment this out. So I added in two installed apps, but it's still not looking in there. And even if it did look in there, we don't have a folder in here called new templates. So how about we do something where we create the folder for templates. So inside a newsletter, I'm gonna go ahead and go to new folder and say templates. Right, so you wanna name the folder templates. That's the default name that we do here. So within here, we wanna name it as something. So our template that we named it was home.html. So let's go ahead and copy home.html inside of our templates. We'll say new file and we'll save it as home.html. All right, back in our settings, we will uncomment out this newsletter and we'll refresh in here. Ooh, now we have a blank page. So that means it was found. So in our home.html, if I just do some HTML tags, so h1 tag saying hi there, close it off refresh hi there is actually showing up cool so what if I go back into settings and take newsletter off of installed apps and refresh in here ah template also does not exist right so this is how it's doing these newsletter app directories loader this is the app directories loader this is a perfectly acceptable way to put your templates somewhere um, but it's not the way we're gonna do it in this project but it is something to think about when you wanna create something that's gonna be reused over and over again is using those templates inside of the app itself. But I'm gonna go ahead and delete this folder, go ahead and delete it, close out this home.html, and we're gonna make a new folder to see the other way of configuring the newsletters, or excuse me, the templates. And we'll do a new folder in here, call it templates. Notice I'm typing that down here, and then you just press enter to create that. All right, so now we've got templates here. So if I open up templates, I'm gonna make a new file and I'm gonna hit Command S to save it. And I'm just gonna call it home.html. Okay, so now we have a new folder for templates and it's in where manage.py is, which is the root of the project. So if you remember back to the settings when we talked about that, base dir is also the root of project. Right, so base dir is exactly how you do that. So now, as it says, build paths inside the project like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and just copy this right here. Scroll down to this little, um, setting for dirs, so dirs as in directories, to look for templates. We're gonna paste in that OS path stuff. And it says base dir, so the base directory, so th where the root is, and then this dot, 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 instead of dot, 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 I'm gonna say templates because that's what we named this folder right here. So now it's gonna, it has a brand new place to look for those templates. This home.html, say hello again, is now there. So now we've got home.html. If I do a refresh in here, hello again, shows up. So that is how we actually set up these settings specifically. Now we could have this in many other places uh, but having it right inside of the Django project itself is actually useful for us for when we want to actually bring this thing live and use templates. Um, but notice that it is a, a list here, so we can actually add in other locations for our, our actual folders. Um, so let's go ahead and open up terminal. I'm going to close it out and do PWD. And notice this is a path to a uh, like it's a path to the Django root, and I can put this path in here, right? So let's say I put this path in here and I'll say ABC templates, okay? And now I'm gonna change in my view, I'll just change it to home two because we don't have home two. So now if I go back and run the server again and jumping back into our home page, refresh in here, now what we see is a couple new settings, right? So now in here at the very top, we see file system loader it looks in source templates, home to. It looks in source ABC templates, home to. Right, so then it comes through and it looks through that other stuff as well that we've already looked at. So what that is doing is it's going off of these directories right here. 
And notice that baster templates is showing up here as templates right here. This is what baster templates is doing. That's what this setting does exactly. Now, if you're on a Windows computer, this directory is gonna look slightly different. The slashes are gonna be going in a different direction and it's gonna not be exactly like this. It's gonna be similar, but not exactly. Um, so what this OS path join does is saying, take where this base directory is and combine it with templates. Notice I don't have any slashes in here, so it doesn't need it. Where this is hard coded, and if it was on your computer, especially if you're on a Windows, it's not gonna work. It probably won't work even if you're on a Mac because you, your user is not likely gonna be J Mitch unless you completely copied me which is kind of weird, <laughs> but flattery. But seriously though, I mean, this is not gonna come up on your end, right? It's, it's really gonna be a lot different. So you wanna use something that works on any system and that's what that's all about. That's why you would do this. There's a lot more to OS than just this, the OS library. There's a lot more to it than just that, but um, that's pretty much it. Cool, so that's the template settings we now have it up set up correctly. If I change my view back to home, we now have it set up completely correctly to where we can actually start working with our templates. We're not gonna do a whole lot in templates quite yet. There's another topic that we wanna talk about and that's actually storing data. Um, so if you have any questions at this point, let us know. Otherwise, let's keep going.